Designing a website goes far beyond aesthetics. You've got content strategy, user experience, marketing funnels, and code to think about too. And if you want to launch your website on time and budget without cutting back on quality, your first step should always be a plan. It's easy to jump right into a new website or redesign project without thinking through the details, especially if you feel pressured to deliver the work quickly. But taking time to create a thoughtful plan can make all the difference between stress and success. You've probably heard it said before that failing to plan is planning to fail. And that's especially true with web design projects that involve multidisciplinary teams and complex scopes of work. Skipping a web design plan leaves deadlines, dependencies, and scope unclear. And confusion over any of these inevitably leads to delays. Writers, designers, and developers will spin their wheels trying to get it right, meaning more time spent on revisions. There's also no source of truth to keep scope creep from wrecking your timeline. No matter how busy your team or eager your stakeholders are to get started, the extra time it takes to put a clear plan in place is absolutely worth it. Everyone will be happier with the end result, and it'll be a whole lot easier to finish on time and budget. Web design projects typically include these phases, which can be adjusted based on the timing and scale of the project. This initial definition phase lays solid groundwork for the success of your project. Here are the basic steps you'll want to take to start your website design project off right. Everyone involved in a website project should know why it's being created or redesigned. Think through the overarching goals and what actions you want visitors to take. This will inform content development and design and make it easier to deliver the desired results. A budget sets clear parameters around the scope of the project. It enables you to make smart decisions about what features to include, where to spend your project time, and when to call in reinforcement from third-party resources. Burnout can be a real drag on productivity, so figure out who has the bandwidth to do the work on time and what role they'll play in the project's success before you start handing out assignments. Project requirements define what your website should do or include. Work closely with your stakeholders to spell out the features, functions, and tasks that need to be completed to deliver a win. Capturing these nitty-gritty details before work begins can go a long way in avoiding delays and discontent later. Don't forget to include users in the discovery phase of your web design project. Doing things like developing buyer personas and customer journey maps to understand your audience better, and doing usability testing to see how people interact with your current site or competitor sites if you're building a new one from scratch, can give you a ton of insight. Use those findings to guide your content and design strategies. Your team and stakeholders should be on board with the plan before it's locked in. Get everyone together to review the timeline and requirements and be sure to leave room for feedback. Content gives voice to your brand and sets a foundation for building trust with your audience. These steps can help you build a content strategy that helps you reach your website goals. Make sure to take time to catalog your existing content, then work with stakeholders to identify gaps and determine what needs to be created. This is also a great time to make sure you're up to speed on the brand voice and style. Next, create an organized plan for how your content will be delivered on your website. A sitemap outlines all the pages on your site and how they relate to each other. This ultimately helps Google know how to crawl your site, but it also provides a basic framework for building content out page by page. Now it's time to get to work writing. Digital attention spans are short, so keep messaging clear, simple, and concise. Your audience should always be the focus of your content, so build content around their needs and desires, and make it easy for users to find their way from problem to solution quickly. Web content can go stale fast. Be sure to map out a process for keeping it fresh and compliant once your site goes live. That way there's no confusion about who's in charge of updates. While content begins before and even informs design, these phases typically overlap. Work in tandem to make sure content and design align closely to deliver a positive user experience. Create a mood board that captures the visual elements of your design concept, like colors, fonts, branding, and image styles. 
Use this collage to communicate your general vision to stakeholders and get buy-in on the look and feel of the website before going all in on design. Now you can give shape to the user experience by sketching out how content will be structured on your web pages at a high level. Wireframes help further define content needs and provide another handy tool for securing stakeholder buy-in early on in the design phase. Once you've nailed down your design direction, bring your vision to life by designing a prototype. Loop developers in on your mock-up to make sure you're aware of any technical limitations that might affect design. Be sure stakeholders sign off on your prototype before handing your final design off to the dev team for build-out. It's finally time for your content and design to come together into a functional website. Many developers use Agile to get work done, so feel free to build sprints into your project plan to make sure your process aligns with their preferred workflow. All the pieces and parts have come together and you're almost ready to launch. The only thing standing between you and going live is final review and QA. Do one last check to clean up copy, test buttons and forms, and make sure your website looks good on multiple devices. Don't forget to determine how you'll measure performance and handle site maintenance and feature additions down the road. That way you'll have a game plan in place for the future. If you're ready to get started on your next web design project, we've created a free web design project plan template for you in Team Gantt so you can jump right in. Customizing the template is quick and easy thanks to Team Gantt's drag and drop simplicity. And since everything's online, your whole team can collaborate on activities in real time. Sign up for a free Team GAN account today and save time on project setup with this free website design plan template. And that's it for this video on our free website design template. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd love it if you could return the favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.